South Africans are preparing to say their final goodbyes to anti-apartheid activist Winnie Madikizela Mandela. She will be laid to rest in Johannesburg on Saturday. From all corners of the continent, Africans are speaking out about her influence on their lives. Africa 54's Heidi Adams Fitzpatrick has more. A nation in mourning. Winnie Madikizela Mandela's death has opened old wounds and sparked new debate about her life and what she meant to whom. At a memorial service in Soweto this week, Madikizela Mandela's grandson called out her critics. For those of you who are still trying to drag the name of Umakul, archbishops and chiefs alike, the people are angry, we are hurt, and we will not tolerate your defamatory messages or disrespect. Across the continent, Africans reflect on her activism and how she should be remembered. Winnie's legacy is respect and resilience. Resilience of the African woman and also it extending into the political sphere where it's very difficult for women to work in the political environment and for her to be able to command the respect that she did uh, in the ANC in South Africa and the world over is something that we all as young women can learn from. You need to stand up for what you believe in. You cannot be afraid of the things that are opposing you, especially when it comes to human rights, especially when it comes to being oppressed, any form of oppression. I think that's what she symbolizes in my life. She did everything and used everything she had to fight against apartheid. We can't talk about Mandela's fight against apartheid and exclude this woman. In my opinion, she is and will remain an icon for all Congolese. In Zimbabwe, right activist Evan Mawarire hailed Madikizela Mandela as an inspiration to Africa's youth in the fight for justice. She refused to give up her spot to fight for her freedom to someone else. She refused to subcontract the future that she was fighting for to someone else, to an organization. She wanted to be at that table. This is what the generation of freedom seekers and those that fight for justice in our generation must understand. Nobody will do it for us. We must be present ourselves. We must be present on the field of battle. We must be present at the table of negotiation. To some, she's a sinner. To others, she's a saint. As South Africa lays Winnie Madikizela Mandela to rest this weekend, many Africans will be watching and remembering with grief and gratitude. Well, Haiti joins me now and she's been monitoring the ways news coverage on the continent has been unfolding since Madikizela Mandela's death. Now, Haiti, uh, what, from your observation, uh, does the African press say about how Winnie should go down in history? Well, you know, Vincent, one thing that's been really easy to spot are these various voices, these different voices in the African press over the past um, week or so about how Winnie should be remembered. Many people coming out and really defending her legacy, saying, you know, um, really telling these countering stories to the unflattering stories that they've seen in what they say the Western media has been portraying Winnie's life. And so people are coming out to really defend her, many feeling that she's an African icon and that her story should be told from an African point of view. I'm going to show you a few of these op-eds. We can see from this one in the South African edition of the Huffington Post, Winnie wasn't evil, she was remarkable. The East African Review has a scathing op-ed um, called Winnie Mandela and South Africa's Unburied Past of how Western media have really portrayed Winnie as a villain and that history has, for instance, been kinder to figures like Winston Churchill, who many feel had deep contempt for Africans. And so saying ultimately, you know, Winnie refused to compromise on what she stood for and that her spirit could be bent but not broken. Then a really moving tribute in Ghana's daily graphic from former President Jerry Rawlings calling her the bravest of the brave and saying some of those who benefited from her pain and struggle didn't really see their way clear and early enough to give Winnie Madikizela Mandela what was due to her. Nigeria's vanguard had this op-ed, Why Winnie Mandela Matters to Nigerian Women, calling her the most transformational woman in the 20th and 21st 
21st century. And one of the most interesting comments that, um, columns uh, rather, that I've seen in the past week was from author Minabera Ibalema from Nigeria saying Winnie Mandela, death of a repentant warrior. And so he talks about how Winnie was really this mirror through which people could see how dehumanizing apartheid really was. And he talks about the fact that, you know, she had this unwholesome side to her activism and that she regretted it. Um, he recalls a speech she had made here in the U.S. at the University of Alabama at Birmingham in which she said, the world is a more violent place than when I came into it to the extent that I played a role in bringing that about. I am sorry. So, Vincent, really, we're seeing this um, different side to the different mm -hmm. sides of Winnie Mandela. Many of us in South Africa growing up, you know, we saw this unapologetic woman yeah. who wasn't afraid to fight fire with fire. Exactly. So what a wealth of material in the Africans, uh, Africa's mainstream media. But of course, we know there is a social media right. Right. component nowadays. What are they saying on social media? Well, you know, um, for many people in South Africa, Winnie Madikizela Mandela is a historical figure. But the discussion that has been going on is really about what is her place in history. And so um, it's really that that's making her struggle and past pain very current today on Twitter women are using the hashtag black with a duke a you know duke, what a duke is, is that a, like it's something on the head they, right uh, that's uh, an uh, duke is an Afrikaans word for a headscarf and yeah, so headscarf. women have been posting selfies in which they wear a headscarf or, or a beret copying her style with a message she's not dead she has multiplied and then political leaders and Hollywood actors have been using the hashtag Winnie. Idris Elba, for one, who you'll know, he'd met mm -hmm. Winnie and he also played Nelson Mandela in the movie Long Walk to Freedom. He tweeted his tribute, rest in peace, Mama Winnie. My heart is heavy right now. You lived a full and important life, contributing to the liberation of a nation by force and actual activism. You will never be forgotten. Mm -hmm. um, one more, Viola Davis tweeting, a woman who epitomized how the power of a woman's love in intelligence and vision can change a culture. Rest in peace, Winnie Mandela. Civil rights activist Reverend Jesse Jackson, he's going to be at the funeral tomorrow. He said, in the darkest hour of the struggle to free South Africa with Nelson Mandela in prison, the face of hope and courage was Winnie Mandela. May she forever rest in power. Various wow. perspectives there. Indeed. Winnie Madikis Thank Mandela. You. Controversial in life and now in death. And in death. Thank you very much. Amazing reporting there and uh, uh, wonderful research. Thank, Thank you very much, Haiti. Uh, and uh, this view is Haiti Adams Fitzpatrick.